foolish mortals. Hey everybody. Welcome back friends. It's a brand new day and we're here to uh just straight pound out some Psychonauts, man. Oh fuck yeah. It is gonna be ridiculous how much Psychonauts we pound today. Can I uh can I say unto you something? Sure. Now this is from the PS2 era, correct? I believe so. Okay. This game looks infinitely better than any PS2 game we've played on the show. Now, I, at the time, do not remember original Xbox games looking any better than PS2 games. What do you think the cause of this is? Does this game just look good? Because I feel like there's something wrong with the way that we record our PS2 shit. Because it looks all dark as fuck. It might be. Okay, because, like, uh, I've noticed that our, uh, we want to get into the technical yes, shit. Yes, please, let's do that, yeah. I've noticed that the, uh, oops. Ooh. Piece of candy. Um, whenever nice we record, like... guy joke, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I do that all the time. I can't, I can't not do Everybody it. Everybody does the, it The piece the of candy thing is, like, just, it's stuck. Can't do it. I can't not do it. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Fuck. You're talking about recording PS2 files. And oh yeah, okay. The video. card, the the capture program yeah. that we use, yep. like, seems to default certain uh, resolutions and shit. Like, I don't know what it's picking up on exactly because I never change any of the settings. But whenever we do like the Super Nintendo games or whatever, it defaults yeah. to, like 780 or whatever. Yeah, 720. 720. Yes. Shit. Um. So I think maybe yeah, because we're recording the 360 or the Xbox games we play off of 360. That's right, so it's picking them up in HD. Yeah. Maybe that's actually changing the actual display as we see it, too. Shit. Maybe. Well, there we go. Now we have something to fiddle around with whenever we record another PS2 game. Whenever we play original Sonic Adventure. Or whenever we finish The Mummy. Oh, shit. Yeah, but that's PS1 on a PS2. Oh. Well, yeah, but I mean, if we could get it to work on the... You're right, it should... Shit! Fuck Cox! It should. <laughs> I'm gonna try should, this one more time. <laughs> it should still uh, fix the uh, darkness issues, at least. The darkness. Ooh. So. Whatever happened to that band? Just a band called The Darkness. Yeah. They right. did that song. Uh, I believe in a thing called Love or whatever. I don't know what it's actually called. Um, our friend Jordan used to have that as a ringtone. Uh huh. And I remember uh, when we were working with her at Home Depot, like one time her phone went off, and I guess it was an emergency call or something. <laughs> And it just started playing that song. I believe in a thing called love. And then she's like hauls ass out of the building. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty fun. Was that when her dog was sick? Uh, maybe. I remember that being this big ass drama. Well, that was a, mostly a drama because I left early too to like take her to her dog. Oh yeah. We were ride sharing back then. Oh uh, yeah. I thought I explained the situation well to my supervisor. I apparently did not. <laughs> Was there a misunderstanding? Because I thought our our boss was just pissed because, like, it was just a dog or whatever. Well, probably that, too. I mean, he didn't think it was probably worth both of us to leave to deal with that. Uh -huh. But uh, we did because we sh we were ride-sharing at the time. Yeah. I didn't have a car. Yeah. That's why I even got the job at Home Depot. Yeah. Check it out, Admiral. I'm an oarsman first Maybe he would have taken you home. Looks like all those weeks in the canoe simulator really paid Could have had a ride home with your buddy. Uh, yes, sir. The Jeff or whatever yeah, his name Jeff. was? Yeah, Jeff. That was our boss's name, Jeff. Was it Jeff? Yes, it actually was <laughs> Jeff. Chris was the only person on our team who liked Jeff. Chris was the only person on our team who liked Jeff who was not trying super hard to kiss Jeff's ass. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I got it. Jeff had this look about him where he was like, God, this shit again. <laughs> like, every time I saw him. I think that's manifested. I think you invented that because you thought it was funny. And I think Jeff is a piece of shit. Let me tell you about that Oh, I looked back and I didn't, like, see the cursor moving. And I thought that our audio would cut out. I was like, God, I just... I don't have it in me anymore to do this. <laughs> I can't. We've only got one more in us, kids, and then it's fucking game over. God damn it. No more fucking problems. Please, God. Ugh. Oh, sick fucking vehicle combat! I wish. So what are we doing? I wasn't paying attention. Let's I'm talk about Jeff. Trying to get out of this fucking boat. And his whimsical bald head. 
see. Why can't I get out of the boat? What else? It said press B. It said press B to go backwards. Yeah. Whoa. It also said press A. Hmm. A to go forwards. Well, how about that shit? <laughs> right? <laughs> really? Woo! -wee! What a time to be alive! Why can't I? Whoa. Man. Okay, oh, okay, I guess I'm out of the boat now. So what? You got a dock? Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Now there's something I wish I didn't know what it was. Gotcha. You nice. <laughs> What was that uh, horrible tentacle monster there? Oh, uh, we found out in the previous episode that uh, uh, Raz has really. a fear of water. Oh, okay, yes. So that is the manifestation mm. of that oh, fear. Oh, so is he doing that to himself? Quite possibly. Oh, shit, hey, dude. Oh, sorry, not you. Kid, I don't want to talk to you. Quit saying shit. This is one of those I was the monster all along Whoa. thing. That was weird. Yeah, I didn't even know I could dock there. It snapped to the beach. Can I dock here? Come on, man. Give me some dock. Dock me, bro. <laughs> bro, let's dock, dude. <laughs> For those who don't know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> docking, according to Urban Dictionary, is whenever a man inserts his penis man into the pee hole man. of another man. Into the pee hole? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Oh. Isn't it? I don't know. That, that sounds brutal, though. That is what I was made to understand Come docking on. is. One of these is going to let me dock. Having trouble finding those really deep. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be real with you, man. It seems pretty, uh, as I would say, AIDS. <laughs> I just want that fucking whatever. I can get it after I get my levitation badge. Oh. Let's get out of here. Let's dock over here. Yeah, Dock me hard, bro. <laughs> there she is. And there you are, darling. What's her deal? I got in contact what? Uh, she's a psychonaut. Oh, okay. She's also one of the camp counselors. Her specialty is levitation. Okay. She also has one of the most brutal fucking Easter eggs in the game. Brutal, really? Yeah. Listen, I made you something. It's kind of stupid, but. Well, I figured that. You made it. Hmm? No. She said it was kind of stupid. I said, well, I figured that. You made it. Don't get me wrong, it's not an insult to you. Whenever I make things, they're stupid. Most things that anyone makes is stupid. So it's not just me. This fucking kid in the background. No, fucking, but the I fucking rubber ducky. Find out where this is coming from. Let's rendezvous tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool. Yeah, it feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where. Shut up. No! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows you have to stop reading True Psychic Tales after issue 200. He switched riders and it started to suck. Yeah, dude. All right, let's get on with this. But then they got Clayton Crane to do the art. I've already done the so it was a real conflict. Sasha showed me how to shoot. You know, I'd expect that sort of now, uh, from just gonna be up front, because that's our theme for today, is being up front. Uh, I'm just gonna blast through this fucking level. I'm not gonna try to get a lot of the figments. Oh, no! <laughs> I will come back and get them if I need them to acquire all of the powers to complete the game, but I'm not going for a 100% completion run here. <laughs> okay, thank god. Yeah, this... Shh. This game, um... Chris's roommate came home, I had to close the door. Needed to secure the perimeter. I needed to uh, interrupt the recording to ask. Because <laughs> we're all about super smooth-ass interaction with the audience. No, no, I told you, we're being up front today. All right. I already forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, uh, most of the time I spend playing Man, this game fucking in a move. is in this level. Okay. That's okay. It does distract from your incredibly blocky head. Mm-hmm. Okay, sweet. I do kind of like this. Like, the whole, you get it temporarily... Yeah, just type of thing, and level. you get it when you win. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be changed. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, that's cool, dude. Okay, I like the. I like that it's not like just normal ass levitation. Oh yeah, they really made a good gimmick out of it. Yeah, that's neat. And we'll get to that in a second. Right I mean, now, I guess I need to I'll get paid. See if I continue to like it. 
as oh, no, time uh, goes on. It's cool. You can upgrade it to where it has spikes on it, and you can roll over shit. Oh, shit. That's fucking dope. I mean, I'm going to get some of these. <laughs> you get the ones that are easy. Yeah, these are just sitting here. That looks fine. That, that's a nice arc. One, you're really going to have to fly. Once you get up in the air, try using your thoughts as a balloon to fly. Ooh. Yeah. Jump for those rings as high as you can and then do your side. I've got to adjust the controls because, like, the default with the white button is the like, left bumper and it's not mm. not working for me, really. All right. Next time on Foolish Mortals, oh. we will change the controls. Bum, bum. 